All right, guys. Obviously, that was a hell of a ball game. Um, our kids played their hearts out. Um, you know, don't question their effort at all. Um, you know, anytime we win, we win as a team and we lose as a team. Um, but, you know, just overall, we just didn't make enough plays. You know, give North Carolina State credit. It's a good football team, talented football team. Um, you know, made some plays on some deep balls. Uh, and uh, but we had our opportunities, you know, whether it was a two point play that would have won us the game, um, you know, opportunities, you know, Kessman kicked the ball well again, <clears throat> but uh, I'd like to score touchdowns when we're down there, have a great drive in the second half and take it down to the one and hit four downs from the one. We don't punch it in. And then to finish it off, um, you know, um, would have too many open receivers in the two minute drill, um, which I trust our defense to, to get that thing done. And we just got to secure the win. And we didn't get it done today. But, uh, you know, everybody in our f football team has a part in the loss, uh, including me, every coach, and every player. And that's just kind of, you know, um, how it goes. Kids are hurt. Um, kids are hurt bad in the locker room. But we'll rebound and we'll stick together and, and come, to, come back next week against Boston College. So, questions? What did NC State do offensively that was so effective against this defense? Well, I think, you know, Devin Leary, number one, I mean, the guy pulling the trigger, you know, obviously he had a good game today and, and he made the right decisions. He got the ball out pretty quick. We couldn't get as much pressure as we'd like. Um, you know, we'll look at the tape and find out exactly what happened. But, um, you know, we just, we just didn't play, play good enough. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll look at the tape and evaluate and I'll let you know for sure uh, on Monday, I guess. Pat, we've talked about, about what we called on four stairs, uh, spe specifically penalties in the past, a uh, really big problem for you today. What, what do you feel like went into that in this one? And is there anything you feel like you can do about that? Well, there's a lot we can do about it. You know, um, you know, we'll look at the tape and evaluate it, but obviously it starts with, you know, the illegal, you know, the, the offsides on defense. Um, uh, they drew us off. They did a nice job and we, you know, we didn't have enough discipline. You know, that's where it starts. And then some of those PIs, I, you know, uh, I don't know about, I'll, I'll watch the tape, but, uh, Looked like it was both ways. There was a lot of pushing off, I'll put it that way. And, and uh, you know, we'll, we'll look at the tape and, we'll, you know, we'll become a better football team from it. Pat, what in your mind is is the reason why, is one reason, is multiple reasons that this offense just can't seem to punch it in when it really oh. needs to in the zone? It's, it's been an issue now for, you know, over a season going back to the beginning of last year. You know, obviously there's things that we need to do better when we get down there, and we focused on it more than we have, you know, ever have really, to be honest with you. Um, you know, again, give them credit now. They, you know, they, they got a good defense, um, and they, they played well today. Um, you know, we, we had our opportunities, and we, we just got to, you know, we got to finish. At drops have also kind of been an issue, and I know that's something you guys harp on. But is it disappointing to kind of see that, especially some from, you know from some veteran guys to um, you know back to back weeks? You know our offense made plays on the you know with the ball. You know I, I you know I have to go back and watch the tape. I can't you know you know you, you can watch an NFL game, you watch a college game. There's going to be drops. Where, you know nobody's going to be perfect. You know I don't know how many we had today, but I don't I didn't sit there and go that was the reason you know we lost the football game. I can tell you that. Um, you know, uh, you know, things are going to happen out there. You know, there's a lot of things happening. Um, and, uh, you know, we'll, we'll go back and look at it. But our receivers made a lot of catches. Let's talk about the catches they made as opposed to, because there were some critical ones. I mean, Taysir Mack was, was on fire, making some big catches on third down, moving the sticks and getting us, you know, an opportunity to, to, to score a touchdown. So, um, you know, we'll, we'll look at the tape. As what's most bit disappointing is you have a veteran team made a lot of errors, especially in the first half, and then let a lot of open receivers in the second half. Yeah, we'll watch it. We'll watch the tape and see why. Um, but uh, it wasn't as clean. Again, you know, give them you know credit as far as their game plan and what they did and how they did it, and we got to we got to fix it and come back and be even better. Pat, uh, you mentioned earlier in the week how NC State tries to slow things down with their counter run and their outside zones and different things they try on offense. Did you feel like that was part of why that you guys only had two sacks on the day, or was that more things that you guys had control of? You know, you know, maybe their cadence slowed us down early, and you know, we just didn't get off. Um, you know, when we did bring pressure, we didn't come, you know, get home quick enough. But Leary got the ball out, so I mean, it's kind of a you know, double-edged sword there as far as you know what we're doing. We've got to be more disciplined, you know, um, on the on the snap and and uh, and the claps and all the rest of it. 
Um, you know, I'm not sure what you're talking about, the outside zone and slowing things down, but, uh, you know, it's a good football team. We stopped the run where they have 62 yards rushing, but we didn't stop the pass like we need to. And, you know, we'll look at what we did coverage-wise and where the mistakes were, and, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll get better from it. Pat, did you think your corners had some trouble with their receivers, specifically with their size at the line? You know, at times we did, yeah. And again, like I said, you know, they, they threw some balls up and, and we're in position, you know, nobody was, you know, wide open like Jordan Addison was. I'd say you have a you know, problem at corner when, you know, you leave guys wide open. But, uh, um, you know, I think we threw for more yards than they did and, and we stopped the run. Um, we, we rushed for more yards. We just did, you know, we got opportunities down there. We got to punch it in. Um, it just, you know, it hurts when you lose like that. Can you talk a little bit about the offensive line play for you guys? It seemed like they were getting a lot of pressure. There was a lot of tackles for loss, and it seemed like Kenny was uh, under pressure more than the three previous games. Well, Kenny had one sack in a, in a football game, and you know, usually when you got one sack, you're playing pretty good. I mean, Kenny Kenny played well. Uh, threw it a bunch. He threw for 411 yards, so uh, wasn't enough pressure on him, I guess. Um, you know, I thought the offensive line played solid. Again, we'll look at the tape. It's hard to say from the sideline, you know, what it is, what it was, but. Um, you know, three down, you know, most of the game, they're three, three and, and uh, bringing guys, but the pressure was, you know, was okay. Kenny made some great decisions with his, uh, with his arm and, and his head and, and uh, we'll look at it. Not disappointed at all in Kenny or the offensive line. Pat, are you concerned about the, the running game though? I mean, when, when, he's, when Kenny's your most effective runner, that's probably not the best day at the office for you guys. I mean, it, we're four games in now. Should somebody be like in control of that position at this point? You know, yeah, you'd like that to happen, but that's not where we are right now. I thought, again, Vince, I thought Vince ran hard uh, when he had holes, especially in the second half. We, we ran the ball better, but again, give them credit. They, 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 uh, they stopped our run early, and uh, again, we'll watch the tape and evaluate, and, and I'll let you know Monday what I see. Um, but it's what it is. You know, they made one more play. Uh, you know, you don't look at it and say, you know, we got blown off the field out there. Um, you know, it's a good team, and they, they made one more play than we did. That's what it comes down to, and we and we left a lot of plays on the field, and that's, you know, that's the thing that hurts the most. Uh, Pat T DJ Turner had a big drop last week, but he stepped up for several big big games this week. What did you think of his performance and just his connection with Pickett uh, coming through for you guys? You know, DJ played he played great. You know, we didn't have Jordan Addison in the second half, and DJ stepped in, and and you know DJ's you know DJ's a good football player, and, and he played a great game, and um, you know. Like I said, you know, it comes down to a two-point conversion. It comes down to defense stopping them in a two-minute. And again, we can point to all kinds of different things, but you know, it starts starts and ends with me. Got to have them better prepared. Can you give a little assessment on Jordan's injury or any, how serious it might may or may not be? Um, I don't think it's serious, um, but you know, we'll we'll, we'll see. <clears throat> any final questions for Coach? Yeah, Pat, you played most of the game without Keyshawn Camp at defensive tackle. How do you feel like that impacted uh, the play of your defensive line? And uh, I guess any update you may have on him? Yeah, I mean, Keyshawn you know, was kind of banged up from last week and, and uh, wasn't 100%. So, you know, I don't think it had any factor um, at all. Um, what's EJ got on his phone over there? He's got all kinds of noise going on. But, uh, you know, I mean, w w one guy's not going to make or break the team. We've got, you know, plenty of guys in there, you know, uh, at the tackle. Uh, that need to make plays, and, and obviously it would be great to have a senior out there. But you know, we'll, you know, we'll rebound and uh, and fix it, and we'll be ready for next week. Pat, I know you've talked a lot about wanting guys to turn out the noise, but they generated some buzz with the way they played defensively the first three weeks. Is there any concern at all that maybe they got a little too ahead of themselves, and that led to maybe this, this slow start defensively that they just sort of, you yeah. know. Yeah, you know, again, we, we harp on that. You know, nobody cares what you did last week. It's all what you do this week. And, you know, that's why I tell you, you know, we don't evaluate a defense until the end of the year and what they do and how they make plays. And, and, and obviously, we left some plays out on the field today. We'll tighten it up. Uh, we'll rebound. And again, sometimes it's, you know, the best thing, best medicine is really to get humbled uh, as far as who you are and what you do and just remember how you got where you are. And I think that's the big thing, you know, um, you know, whether we came in too confident thinking we can stop anybody and no one can get a first down. I don't know if we can maybe one three and out in the first half. I told you last week we had eight. Uh, this week we couldn't get off the field at times. And, and again, a lot of it was due to, you know, what we were doing. You know, I don't know how many first downs ahead by penalty, but, um, you know, quite a few. And uh, that, that's not good when, you know, the referees are, you know, saying first down based off a penalty. Um, 
Uh, Pat, you guys used a lot of hurry up late in the fourth uh, with trying to, you know, it seemed to get getting uh, rhythm going. Was that something that you guys were planning on just to keep the rhythm flowing for the offense, or was that just a, like a mid-game adjustment? It's a mid-game adjustment. It's, you know, we had some tempo in the first half, too. I mean, even that second play of the game where Jordan starts, I mean, you know, some of the guys aren't lined up, and, and that's how we get a big play. So uh, we'd like to get it going a little faster. Sometimes it's too slow, but, you know, we go tempo. You know, we huddle at times, and then we come out in tempo. Um, so, you know, um, you know, you kind of go with what's working, and, um, and, you, and you stick with it.